So today's adventures, let's just say, have been not the adventures that I want to be on here telling you about. So we basically left Jindabyne heading towards Nowra because we were going to Bulai Beach um, for the night to do a quick stop over there so I could go to the Seacliff Bridge and get some footage there which I thought would have been nice. However, we did have a few little issues whilst going to and fro in Jindabyne with our um, traction control and engine light coming on. Yes, it is a Jeep thing. Um, however, it did correct itself. We had a chat to our mechanics um, that always service and look after Bruce. It, as I said, sort of corrected itself. Um, then today, whilst traveling, it came on again. Um, yeah, it just wasn't getting any better. We have experienced this before. It went into limp mode. Yes, call us crazy, but we were on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere and we basically drove in limp mode <laughs> to Mitchell back into Canberra. Um, it has taken us a very long time. We actually met up with an amazing fella called Don from ACDC Mechanical. He did some testing on Bruce to see what we could find. Um, and yeah, it's looking like the cam sensors, but also overheating. So we thought that we were able to clear the error with the um, sensor. What's that machine called? Scanner. The J-Scan. The J-Scan. Um, which did sort of work a little bit but then it didn't um, so yeah there was no way we were leaving Canberra tonight um, I did a shout out to Canberra Jeepers and we are just awaiting two guys coming out now um, hopefully going to be able to help us get us back on the road and we will be staying tonight um, in Canberra at Eagle Hawk, at Eagle Hawk and pretty confident that we're heading back to the Gold Coast tomorrow. So yeah, adventures today, I'm going to be honest, completely up to shit. Um, yeah, really not a good day for either of us, nor Bruce. But hey, I guess it's um, all about Jeep life. I'll keep you updated. Brucey's bonnet down. Hopefully we're back in action. Morning. Well, we have ended up at um, Eagle Hawk's Nest Caravan Park from last night. Just an emergency um, stopover, really. Very grateful for them to be able to fit us in. We managed to get one of the last um, powered sites for the night after being rescued by um, Brett and Chris from Canberra, Canberra Jeepers. So, yeah, another big shout out to them again. Um, after uh, Bruce was fixed with his new cam sensor, the boys took us down to um, Capital Brewing for burgers and some cold drinks. Uh, well deserved. Um, Brett's also invited us over to his property this morning. So, yeah, we're going to take him up on that offer. Go check it out. Um, 
see what we can find. We have decided to carry on with some adventures, um, not as planned. So we're just going to uh, make our way up um, on the coast road because that way we know if there was something else to happen with Bruce, then we are in a closer vicinity for um, mechanical instead of heading out west like we were going to. But we will cover that adventure another time. So yeah, let's get ready to head out to uh, Brett's property and check out the Jeeps. So we've just arrived at um, Brett's place and we're going to check out some Jeeps, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, I feel like I'm in Jeep heaven. Let's go check them out. I think he actually runs a company called Jeep City. Yeah. So jump online. Um, parts. I think what is what he deals in majority of. So website, Facebook. Yeah. Instagram, all that. So if you're looking for um, Jeep parts, give hit up Brett from um, Jeep City. Absolutely. He'll, he'll be able to sort you out. Yep. To our rescue last night with Chris uh, to fix Bruce. So Brucey's just getting fine-tuned. We're just doing a little bit of mods with our airflow. Um, we did have minor overheating issues, which we're going to look into further when we get back home. Um, but again, Chris and Brett have kindly um, invited us here today um, so we can get that looked at. Um, and just remember, check out Jeep City for any of your parts online, Instagram, Facebook as well. Contact Brett. He will be more than happy to look after you. Um, and then we can get back on the road for our adventures. Wow, so as I mentioned, Bruce is getting a couple of mods for our airflow problem and yeah, looks like we're gonna be storing this in the back. Sort of create a, a, a pocket over the, the grill too, so the, yeah, you'd be surprised. What a and difference you it'll make. holes in the... Um... Yeah, like it's, it's, if you look at that extra down the back, I'll I put two reverse bond vents because I had um, problems with the airflow through the front of mine. And yeah. How's he looking? Yeah, we'll see once we're on the on the road. I mean, we have to have a lot more air to flow through. Yeah. <clears throat> We've just done our trip for today, which has been about four and a half hours. Um, we left um, just out of Canberra. We've just got a little stop over that I found on Wiki Camps. It's called uh, Breakaway. We're the only ones here. Um, check it out on Wiki Camps facilities, um, power site again as well. I feel like it's this o'clock. 
for me. Um, we're just getting a little bit of light shower. We're going to bunker down for tonight and yeah, see where we end up tomorrow. So this was our um, quick little stopover last night in a little place called uh, San Reno. Um, it's actually a respite care facility, but they do offer some basic camping um, and caravans, but they do have power and water. I thought it was quite funny that when we pulled up, having our little triangle house, check out the cottages. So we've just arrived in the town of Kempsey, which um, took us probably around about three hours to get here this morning um, from leaving our um, easy stop last night, which was the camp breakaway. Um, I just rang ahead. They managed to fit us in here at the showgrounds, $25 a night for power and water hookup, great facilities. Um, we're just gonna have an easy lunch today, some hot dogs, and then we're gonna go and check out the town of Kempsey. So who knows what we might find in our adventures. Alrighty, so we've done a little bit of an adventure about 35 to 40 minutes from the Kemp Sea Showgrounds and we have landed ourselves at the old Trail Jail. Um, so we're going to take a little self tour around and see a bit of the history. Um, it's literally right overlooking the waterfront as well which is really beautiful and we'll show you around.
can't lock you in that one. Come down this way. Oh, this one's got a double door. This is an absolute must if you're in the area. Totally enjoyed my little tour today around the jail. We've seen some really historical um, buildings and there there's a lot of stories and I'm not sure if you believe in ghosts, but I'm sure there's a lot of stories and this place would be great to do at night. So we've just arrived at the Smoky Cape Lighthouse and we're just going to have a little walk and see what we can find. The um, little skippies were a little bit friendly, they weren't really too phased. I reckon they're very used to tourists.
What a great day we had yesterday exploring the local area near Kempsey. So much so that we've decided to stay another night at the showgrounds and they've been kindly um, able to accommodate us. So we don't need to move. We're still going to stay at this spot as well. Um, we've had our breakfast. Coffees are ready. I'm a little bit excited as well because there's actually a Jim Carner at the showgrounds right behind me. So I'm going to check it out in a second. I feel like that was many years ago. I did do horse riding from the age of five to about 19. And now I just love adventures and Jeeps. So yeah, let's see what we can find today on our adventures. This is the Kempsey Showgrounds. Basically, you just have to book ahead and contact the caretaker. It's just um, $25 a night for two adults, and that's power and hookup. And as you can see, we've just got a little gymkhana happening today. Just a few vans in, a few um, left this morning, and then there's a couple come in already. So yeah, I feel like it's a pretty popular spot. Um, they've got great facilities as well. You can do your laundry. Um, yeah, the shower facilities are great. I've got to say, it's probably the best shower that I've had, and that's including being at the top notch caravan parks as well. So yeah, pretty happy with that. So I'm just gonna go and fix up for tonight's day, and then we're going to hit the road. Pies, which is literally about 20 minutes down the road from where we're staying. It has an ice cream. <laughs> Are you surprised that Mr. B's got ice cream? No, I'm not. So they have at least 50 different varieties of pies, and I am going to try the steak Diane pie. I was tempted for the jalapeno and cheese, but the lady said it was pretty hot. And then my other favorite I was thinking was going to be the Musman beef, but I feel it's a little bit too early for that. So let's see how this one goes. How many times have you been here? Oh, hey, how many? Over the years, oh, maybe a dozen plus. How's your ice cream? It's amazing. Looks pretty good to me. pastry. Yesterday we went all the way up here to the jail 
to the lighthouse then we went back to Kempsey and then today we're heading out here to Crescent Head gonna check that out see what we can find but yeah Fredo's pies make sure you stop and get one Let's go, Bruce. We've had a stop, we've had a pie, we've had an ice cream, and now we are on adventure. What's it saying? They're out. So, this is where we were yesterday. North. And... Yeah. What's over here? Oh, that's Port Macquarie. Okay. just exploring Crescent Heads. It's a great spot. Absolutely love it. I definitely think that we could come back here again on an adventure and actually spend, I don't know, could spend easy a week here. It's just beautiful. This, the coastline is just really beautiful. It's calm day. Can you believe? I reckon they've got probably the, one of the best golf courses in Australia. It's like literally overlooking this incredible so yeah if you're into golf bring your clubs there's no buggies it looks like a walk and it's a bit hilly but hey that's an adventure too This is the inlet area that adjoins the ocean and there's all camping and powered sites that run along through the caravan park. That would probably be my pick. 
beautiful spot. They've also got a little surf club just here as well with a cafe, you can chill out, tea, coffee, snacks. I think these fellas are waiting for a cheeky feed. Yeah, they are. <laughs> we already had a little one. Wow, look at that. So we were recommended to check out the Bucket Brewery, which is just in Kempsey. It's a family owned microbrewery and we are gonna check it out. What a great afternoon we had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't expect staying that long. A couple of hours. Yep. Yep. It was good. Now to load the tinnies in the back of Brucey, hey? Had a couple of locals. Yeah. Hung out. Totally recommend this place. Bucket Brewery. It's local. Yeah. They got so many beers. I don't even drink beer, remember? And I had my tasting paddle. It was amazing. Had some wine. We had some nice chicken wings and chippies. Sure. And we've got two six six packs. Is the other one bad? I was putting in the freezer for the time being. Oh, everything's wet. So we've woken up pretty early this morning. We're getting ready to hit the road. Um, and yeah, I've woken up to all this fog, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna hit the road, pack up, and yeah, that's gonna be the end of our adventure. So um, we have had a really great time and we are gonna be planning more adventures soon. We hope you've enjoyed our adventures on this holiday and we look forward to seeing you again on our travels. Remember, like, subscribe, leave a comment and we'll see you next time.